Hi, Jaguars. Next, we're going to go through our topic lesson for today. You come in and have a look in your file. You're going to find topic. And as we've been learning about over the next few weeks, we're continuing with our topic of rivers. Click on the presentation, and there's a couple of activities to do too. Raging rivers, the journey of a river. Over this lesson, we're going to look at the journey the river makes from its source to the sea. We're going to think about what things it may pass, what they look like, and also the geographical vocabulary. So starter, spend a few minutes and think of how many rivers you can name around the world. Think about local rivers as well as rivers in other countries. Next, we wanted you to lead yourself through the presentation. Rosie Dra Raindrop is our guide and she's going to talk us through all the features we might find in a river, specifically today about the River Thames. Once you've gone through what the pictures might look like and followed Rosie's journey, we're going to get onto a little discussion and some activities for you to do. Thinking about the drainage basin, the other day we made this model in class. We looked at the source, tributaries, how we might meet a waterfall or a cascade, going into the main channel, how it passes through floodplains, and then to the mouth of the river where it makes the sea. Mr. Nicholas has been busy at school this morning making his own model yeah. out of Legos. So, Nicholas, talk us through what features do you have there? So, I have my two main sources up here, right? Uh, I have my two tributaries, right, that merge into the main channels, the floodplains, we're going to be the green part, and the mouth that merge into the, the sea, right? Perfect. I can also see you had a little waterfall here with the steep yeah. part. Fantastic. Next, have a look at your presentation. There's some key words there that we want to label our model with. I've got the word tributary. So tributary, if we remember, it's two small streams joining together. So a smaller stream moving into the river. I've got one of those right up here. Can you label your direct diagram for us? And then going back to your presentation, you've got a little quiz to do. Go through the quiz. And at the end, we've got a couple of activities for you to complete. Over here, we've got a writing a description about Rosie's journey down the River Thames. You also have a small matching activity to do where you need to find try and make your own glossary of different features of a river. Try and match them up. If you can, can you also translate some of them into Spanish? And there's a little word search too. Any questions, send us a message. Thank you.